So welcome to this happy hypnosis meditation and visualization practice. We are doing this live in the she group. And if you're not a member of she and you're coming across this on YouTube, um, you are invited to join us. If you don't know me, my name is Dr. Alicia Antica. I am a transpersonal therapist. Um, I've studied NLP and hypnosis. And this is also a part of my own personal practice that I teach my coaches at your own university and the sacred heart practice. We're just going to walk through this and um, we're going to explore this emotion that so many survivors want to explore, want to know, strive for that evades us because we know the emotions that control us, the sticky emotions like shame and guilt and fear and anger and sadness and anxiety and we all seek happiness so today i want to just invite you to get comfortable get a cozy going shut everything off for a little bit and whenever you're ready just close your eyes one place that we hold a lot of tension is our jaw so i want to invite you to just wiggle your jaw around a little bit And with your mind, just tell your jaw, it's okay to relax. You can even take your hands up and just rub it in little circles a little bit. Your jaw matches your hips, so you can move your hips around a little bit. And inhale and exhale and invite that relaxation down into your hips, another place where we hold a lot of tension, especially for women. We hold that tension in our jaw, in our hips, and just letting go. And then right in your, underneath your eyes, right above your cheekbones, your cheekbones, go ahead and invite your face and your cheekbones, your temples to relax and you can rub your temples. And this looks a lot like your collarbones. So you're gonna release the shoulders and relax your collarbones, feeling your wings on your, underneath you or on the back of a chair, wherever you're resting. Just relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your back, and bring your awareness to your breath. And invite your breath deep into your belly. Breathing into your diaphragm, breathing into your lower lips or your perineum, your root, and feeling that breath just come all the way up like a wave up your spine and then exhale, visualizing yourself relaxing more and more as it goes down your spine. And inhale again, just watching your breath come up your spine. And exhale slowly, slowly, releasing that going down your spine. And your third breath, inhale, letting it come up your spine. And exhale. Releasing, relaxing your body a little bit more all the way down your spine. For many survivors, being in our body has been challenging. We even run from it. So I would like to invite you, as it feels safe, to just get comfortable in your skin a little bit more by bringing attention to the soles of your feet and your toes. You can wiggle your toes around a little bit. Just inviting consciousness and love or the color pink, beginning to visualize this beautiful radiant healing pink in your baby toe. And then in your next toe and your middle toe and your second to biggest toe and then your big toe and feeling the soles of your feet being covered in relaxation, this beautiful pink light. 
and relaxing your feet, just letting them fall to the side, releasing your inner legs, releasing your calves and your ankles. Bring relaxation and this pink light through your knees, through your thighs, into your hips, relaxing your hips and your tail, your pelvis, your lower back, into your belly. Relaxing more and more with each breath, feeling this pink coming up, the love relaxing through your belly and through your rib cage, up into your collarbones and down your shoulder blades. With each breath, allowing yourself to relax a little bit more and a little bit more. And if you've been holding tension in your body, surviving for a lifetime, just allow yourself to get curious about relaxing. Hmm, what would it be like to relax just a little bit more? Feeling this relaxation overflow into your arms, relaxing your biceps and your triceps, your elbows, and your forearms and your wrists into your fingers, palms to your hands. And then bring your attention back to your collarbones. They relax even more and releasing the tension in your neck. Lengthening the top of your head up or back. Breathing into your brain stem, relaxing your brain, relaxing thoughts, relaxing your eyelids, your eyeballs, your forehead, your lips and your nose, and the crown of your head. And with each breath as we continue through this visualization, you're just going to relax more and more. I want to invite you to roll your eyes as your eyelids are closed, roll your eyes up towards your hairline. And as if you're looking into the center of your brain, imagine your eyes just rolling all the way back and looking at your pineal gland, a little pine cone in the middle of your head. This lantern of visualization, opening to your rim sleep in your theta brain. And here, visualize the number three in a 3D form in front of you like a bubble or a balloon. And inhale, visualizing the number three. And exhale, relaxing deeper as the three becomes more and more vivid. And if it's hard for you to visualize it at first, that's okay. In time, with practice, you will turn back on this superpower of visualization for yourself. Just hold the intention of seeing it. And then with the eyes up, go ahead and feel your body relax and visualize the number two. And exhale. Going deeper and deeper into this visualization, into your core, into yourself, knowing that you're safe, you're curled up, that love is surrounding you and you're filled up on love. Safe, secure, gentle love. Then inhale, visualize the number one and exhale as the vision gets clearer and clearer. You begin noticing a door in front of you. And this door you might open and it might be a elevator, or it might be a set of beautiful stairs, perfectly safe and secure. And whichever you see, go ahead and just get in or begin stepping down. This elevator is going to go, the stairs are going to go from your third eye down through your willpower, 
down into your heart center. And just let it take as long as it needs. Keep breathing as your body relaxes for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And there in your heart center, there's another beautiful door and it opens automatically and inside it is your sacred heart, your castle, your room, a thousand rooms. And in this room, as it opens the door, you're greeted by your higher self. You're greeted by your beautiful guides and spirit guides or angels and there to love you and to protect you. And you're greeted by your own understanding of source, God, all there to be around you as you begin to explore your own vision of happiness. And as you walk into your sacred heart, all the things that you've learned or experienced about happiness, all of the old programming just gets left to be released, to be transmuted and transformed and deleted as you come into this new vision for yourself. And in this room is this beautiful bed. It is gorgeous. It is covered in silk and satin and the fluffiest, most beautiful pillows. It is adorned like your dream bed however you want to see it, it is yours. I invite you to just go over and claim it, lay on it, and feel yourself transported in every way to this nice, comfortable place of being, of resting. And there in front of this bed, it's a beautiful screen, the most glorious, beautiful TV. And there's all the ways that happiness has evaded you. All the old story. And beside it is a big delete button and you're just gonna click on it and delete. And then in front of you is your new definition of happiness. It has a color and that color fills the screen. And in your hand, you notice a paintbrush. And you begin painting your own scene of happiness. And you have access to all the colors and you are the most beautiful artist. And you create, you begin creating this new scene of happiness, this new idea of what happy feels like and the feeling of happiness begins pulsating through your physical body. All the colors of your happiness and you can't get this wrong and you can always come back and redo it a million times as you get to add more and more to your own creation of happiness. And here, different things, maybe things that you even forgot about or you've never even known or thought about begin popping up on the screen from your higher self, from your angels, from source God. Things that will bring happiness, things that you might value or that you value already. 
that add to your happiness. You see words, you might see pictures. And if something comes up in you and you're fighting this, you're telling yourself an old story, like any old story, you're doing it wrong or not doing it right, or somebody else is in here doing it for you, or what if that wouldn't make Joe happy or Mildred happy or Zelda May happy? Go ahead and dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend that. And bring yourself back to this relaxed place of being, back into your heart center, knowing that this is your happiness. And if there's different people in here that make you happy, add them to your happiness. Claim them as part of your happiness. They don't have to do anything or earn your happiness. They just are part of it. If different situations or outcomes of things would bring you happiness, hearing news of healing, abundance, resurrection, freedom, money, new opportunities, breakthroughs, add it to this picture. You can make this picture as large as you want, as large as the planet, beyond the planet. There's an endless, endless frame. Notice the little things like the ladybug if that makes you happy, the sunset, a kiss from your kid, time with loved ones, miracles, And instead of thinking that maybe someday you'll get this, begin owning it because it's already on your screen. It's already in your reality. This is your reality. It might not be manifest yet on the outside world, but it is manifest as it is in on the, the inside world. And invite this happiness like a stream of energy to begin filling up your body as you lay on your bed overflowing from your heart center. I have, I am, I have happiness. I am happiness. Happiness is safe and secure. Happiness is color. Happiness is possibility. Happiness is in your heart. You are happiness. You are happiness. I am happiness. Tell yourself, I am happiness. I have happiness. I claim happiness. I command and demand happiness for the highest good of all in my heart and in my soul. I am curious about happiness every day and happiness finds me every day. I am open to experiencing more and more happiness. Feel yourself embody the havingness of your picture, of your creation of happiness. Receive it and let it overflow into the temples of your eyes, your jaw, your shoulder blades, your rib cage, your belly, your womb, or other sexual organs, your hips and your legs. And feel this overflow of your heart center just reach down into Mama Earth, claiming your happiness in your life. This is your life. The first thing that you maybe ever claim in your life, claim it for yourself. I am happiness. I give myself permission to explore happiness. 
I invite more and more opportunities to explore what happiness might be, to experience happiness, to see others experience happiness in every level and layer and depth of my reality. Claim it, feel it. And then bring your awareness back to your sacred heart and feel yourself get up off your bed. Your consciousness, ah, just thank everything and your happiness, knowing that you always can come back and visit your happiness if ever you forget that you are happiness. And then remembering that your happiness comes with you wherever you go, this new sense and permission and acclamation an embodiment of happiness, this vision of happiness and what happiness is for you. Gives thanks to your sacred room and you go ahead and walk back into your body, closing the door behind you into the stairwell or into the elevator and begin walking back up or riding back up. One, two, three, four, through your high heart, five, six, claiming your will, I am happiness, I have happiness, seven, eight, nine, back into your pineal gland, 10, letting your eyes relax down if they haven't already, coming back behind your eyes, filling your brain with this new awareness of happiness, maybe for the first time ever, opening up your crown, feel your crown on your head, visualizing it, connecting yourself fully and completely to source and to earth, filling happiness up in the bubble around you in every cell of your body, begin breathing, visualizing the number one exhale and the number two as you begin feeling your body come back fully present reclaiming even more of your health your body your experience your life your power inhale two and three exhale And whenever you're ready, just eyes closed, just stretch your arms, stretch out a little bit if you want to. If you're doing this in the replay, you can go ahead and just relax and go to sleep, knowing that you're gonna get the best night's sleep ever. And whenever you're ready, opening your eyes, re-embodying your definition of happiness. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice.